even as solar generation declines in the final weeks of 2025, when it's technically winter in the United States, well, coal output is not going to overtake solar production for the full year as solar farms will generate at least 150,000 megawatt hours in December. For the first time, Texas's main power system looks set to generate more power from solar farms than from coal plants during an entire calendar year during 2025. This marks a key new energy transition milestone for the, la the largest power network in the United States. And my friends, Texas is going green. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas generated 2.64 million megawatt hours of power from solar assets compared with 2.44 million megawatt hours of power from coal plants for the January to November period, according to data compiled by LSEG, meaning solar easily outstripped coal production in Texas this year in 2025. Higher solar output versus coal output in Texas will mark a rare highlight for US climate trackers in 2025. And nationally, coal generation has registered a steep decline this year, and it remains about three times greater than total US solar output. However, the steep growth of solar power in Texas, the main fossil fuel hub in the United States, will act as a blueprint for other states where utilities are attempting to boost output from all available sources to keep up with rising power demand. A lot of that rising power demand is coming from data centers, of course, and solar and batteries are the cheapest form of new energy being added to the grid. Greater installed solar capacity in Texas this year, it's up 24% compared to 2024's levels, along with the installation of new energy storage batteries According to data, Portal CleanView has allowed solar output in Texas to surge by 42% this year from a year earlier. 42% increase in solar in Texas. Indeed, ERCOT solar production has set new monthly records every single month so far in 2025 and averaged 44% growth from the same months in 2024. That's from January through November. Now look at this chart here, guys. You can see a staggering increase because if you look back at the difference between 2022 and 2023, it was pretty marginal. The difference between 2023 and 2024 was good, but not as big as the difference from 2024 to 2025. And I mean, you can see here the growth of solar in Texas is pretty remarkable, particularly considering this is a, a Republican state and considering the massive cutbacks in incentives from the Trump administration this year for renewable energy. If solar output in December also posts a 44% gain from a year earlier, this year's December output total will be roughly 185,000 megawatt hours. That will bring full year solar generation to 2.82 million megawatt hours. Give you some context on this, comparing it to coal. Texas's solar outperformance of coal generation has occurred even as ERCOT, E-R-C-O-T, Output from coal-fired power plants posted a 10% rise from the same months in 2024. So sadly, coal generation has increased as well. Utilities in Texas and across the country have attempted to boost output from nearly all sources this year in order to meet much higher energy demand, driven by rising use of artificial intelligence applications and greater overall electricity use. And one of the reasons, of course, is higher sales of electric cars. Moreover, higher coal generation is also a result of widespread cuts to gas-fired power plants in Texas and elsewhere, triggered by a steep climb in the cost of natural gas. ERCOT gas-fired power supplies have dropped by around 4% from one year earlier to 7.74 million megawatt hours so far this year. With US gas prices currently averaging around 50% more than the 2024 average, Additional cuts to gas-fired output can be expected in areas where coal-fired power plants are available to make up the output difference, and also in areas where there's an increase in generation from renewable energy. So that means that coal-fired output in Texas, which is the country's top coal power producer, can also be expected to climb further 
heading into 2026 and result in a strong finish for coal production in the state. But it also does mean one other thing. Even with a fresh uptick in coal-fired generation, just as solar production falls to annual lows, 2025 will remain a decisive year for solar generation in Texas. And in spite of the Trump administration's disparagement of renewables and them saying solar is a bad idea, the truth is the Texas state, the state of Texas, that they are very well aware of the economics and they're not really listening to Trump. They're installing what makes financial sense. It takes a lot of money and investment to build a new coal-fired power plant. And it's much, much easier to simply build out more solar farms and more batteries. So that's what we're going to see over the next few years in Texas. We've seen now, right, solar overtake coal for the first time. But the gap is only going to grow. Guys, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.